males around here. Even the cats are male. That's kind of cool too. That's Marius. He's the, he's, he's a, he's the, that's the Sats right hand man. He's a slayer. Hi, hi buddy. Hey kitty kitty. Come see. How you doing? Come see this. Look at that black and orange. You'll see them. There's a bunch of them. Usually they're all over this plant. Uh, and, but they won't sting you, so don't worry. They really, I don't see any more now. Maybe the cold weather from last night knocked them out. Oh, that's right. It got kind of cold last night. It could have took them out. I, you can see they've been munching on the plant. There, there might be, I think that cold weather must probably took them out. Hey, watch. So there's one here. So I'm, I'm going to start making a, uh, a basically my first design that I, I learned, and it was a fleur de lis, so it would be a it would be a French flower anyway, so a royal flower that is, uh, and, I'm, and I'm proud to teach anybody that can want to learn it. So basically, I'm taking a shirt, I'm splitting it in half, and, and I have to say that it took me um, five different versions of this particular uh, design to get it to where I think that I got it right. So it's, it's definitely not always perfect, uh, but you have to keep trying for the, to get it right. <laughs> All right, so basically, I, you split the, uh, it's the fleur de lis in half, so it's symmetrical. So I'm going to draw the fleur de lis. And basically, at that point, it is all tie and dye, and to which you'll see I've got it to a science, and I kind of do it fast, so I'll slow it down to teach. All right, and basically I'm folding uh, about one inch intervals all the way the whole way. Kind of a symmetrical fold. Every inch goes gets folded down to one line. So basically, the fleur de lis will collapse down to one symmetrical line, and everything on one side is a fleur de lis. The other other side is going to be the body of the shirt. This is pretty much as simple as, as it can be explained, I guess. Um, and then you'll see it in a moment. It just takes a second. All right. Uh, so now you got a straight line throughout there, which you will see in a second. And, and basically, like I said, it's 
uh, I took seven years of learning this technique. And I've taken it from learning the one technique to doing a fleur lis. Basically, a ring around it. And that is a fleur lis on that side and a ring around it, which will be soon dyed and given to Richard. That's a memory. Uh, there's every as I now I've learned to uh, take on in other other images since then because I, it was a, uh, a gift that I learned uh, by way of my ex girlfriend and she taught me this because she didn't want she didn't want me to be uh, sta like stationary in life she wanted me to push on as an artist and she taught that this might better my life so she taught me the technique knowing that I would maybe take it and run like a dog and to which I did do. So now I'm, I guess I'm considered to be uh, in the top, top of the country for tie-dye. Um, and I learned to do other stuff. There are some basic stuff that people actually know of automatically uh, by way of YouTube or whatever. Um, spirals, peace signs. Um, uh, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, I do stuff that are a, a little bit more exotic, I guess you might say, or challenging. Uh, I write words, um, I, I do uh, 50, 50 some odd different images inside of each other. <laughs> um, I guess I stretch the bounds. When you learn a technique, if you really know what you're doing, and you have a, an idea of what's, what, the, what you have and the power that you have when the technique, you, you, I, I don't think anybody is going to be able to, to stop you from doing what you're going to do. You, I, it's, I'm, I'm a product of that exact thought and process because what I got taught was just a gift. And when, when I learned it, I, it took me to another level in life. Um, I'm looked at different. I'm honored amongst people who don't never have never even looked at me before. And, uh, and I'm actually looked at, looked at as a person that puts puts them in a better status life so important people come to me for their personal suits you might say and to me that's an honor so I got taught an honor right so I so, you know so if, if I can inspire anybody to do tie-dye it's also another honor because that's part of my, the nature you can't I have a gift that I cannot hold back and I got to teach people to to technically get any kind of real love and respect back from it. If I just kept it from everybody and did it by myself, it would be a, it would be a crime. And I don't want to do that. So uh, I'll, I'll do another image for you. Um, technically, this is something everybody knows. Uh, it's pretty much the going symbol. I think it's most popular. It is the ultimate peace sign. And we all need a little peace. So... We'll do it real simple. It does not require any type of um, writing or drawing. It's a very simple design. You think of it as a, uh, a pie. So you take the center point of where the shirt is, where you want the peace sign center, and then you want to go like this. Three quarters, back down, all one line. And then take the top, bring it down. One line. Now take a, 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 a hypothetical half circle like that, All right. and now you just basically you fold that in one line. Now, you, and you basically take that and tie that off, and I'll do it inside of there so it's not too big. All right, tie that with rubber band or with sinew, doesn't matter. Now you take the three folds that you have that are together, and then you fold them together too. And then you fold that all like that. All right, and now like that. Now, and then I basically can go back around here to do a little, another circle around there, so it makes it a little more design. All right. 
that is basically a perfect peace sign. Uh, this would be the inside, the interior of the peace sign, so it would be one color. This would be the actual peace sign, the oval and the perfect peace sign. And this is in one fold, so they'll be all one color. And then, then there'll be a ring around it. It just happens to be my little signature. I put rings around everything, apparently. I never really noticed it until just now. <laughs> Let's see. This is one that's on YouTube also, and I haven't done it in a long time. And it's a marijuana leaf. And I haven't done one so long, so I might, might as well go ahead and do one. To see if I haven't lost the technique. Pretty symmetrical, now these things are. All right. I'll, I'll cheat and get it away ruler. Right, well, what? There it is. Right. So we're going to do it. This, the center leaf. Almost good, yeah. Folds up a lot easier than it draws. Really cool. I didn't realize this. So, so I watched it on YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! It's funny shit. Out of each other. It's that cool one. <laughs> it's really kind of wild how it does it. No. Right. Fold this all up to one line. So that, that basically, you can see it's all about, all about the folds and then getting the good grips on everything. That's the trick. So this is where I want your hands to get off the right this. Because it hurts. Tight hands and that next trick that, yeah, you need a lot of good hands. Marijuana leaf. Got advanced. Nice. I'm just doing a, I'm just doing a, like a weird shit on this shirt. It's gray originally, but it's got, it's 
going to have some colors in it, which no one else has like this. So this is uniquely marking the shirt. Like with the crazy shirt. People don't want to see it coming. Challenge. It <clears throat> won't take that. It's like, that's what I can do. Let's hit that shit with you. I don't want that in my shirt. It's gonna fight with me. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I always get what I want to do first. It's going on. I got plenty of time. I've got you 16 times. <laughs> first one's done but this is basically it. Clearly and then all the other colors will be different coming out. They'll be magical. Watch. Alright so we'll do is this the electric? And that's that that bright green. This is that's, that's the bright green. Where's where's the uh, treacherous Put your shoes there and then move it. Okay, let's see it now. Let's do that there. Yeah, okay. Push our shoes.
this one is going to be the fleur de lis. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be a fleur de lis, and it's going to be the uh, fleur de lis with the couple grain So you're going to have a Mardi Gras fleur de lis with a a, a really exotic, like crazy body. The, the, the body's not going to say, not going to be te technically New Orleans. So the, it, only only people that are kind of smarter, or savvy to what's going on. We'll be able to walk up and know this is a New Orleans tie-dye. It'll look like a, only in the inside. So they'll be looking into it. And when you look inside the fleur de lis, you'll see New Orleans. Otherwise, it's going to be a worldly shirt. Right. Okay. Up a little bit better. So we're going to transfer the ice cream. I don't really want to transfer it. Now. And, ooh. Damn. I'll have the... The right color, so I'll just do it. All right, we'll do it like this a gold ring for New Orleans around it, a small one. Then we're going to turn it into a fire, so it's going to be fire on the ring. You're going to, it's going to be cool. So there you go, it's Fleur de fire on the bayou. Now you got a world. So, all right. Next. I need to go out with every color I got. Let's do some earthy colors first. Lavender. Yeah. 